All right, shallow room. Real Hebrew Israelites coming that weekend, week out, prophesying the downfall of America and this society. Starting off, I want to give all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shabbat Hashem Kapodash. Yahweh is the truly powerful name. Who the word ignorantly calls God or Jehovah Yahweh Shai is the truly true holy powerful name. Who the word ignorantly calls Jesus by Hashem is in the name of Yahweh Kapodash. So the Spirit, Lady, we shine the Spirit holy. When God Spirit Kapodash holy, we want to get double honor to my elders and apostles of the millstone <coughs> that rule well and teach well and men good example to us young brothers. And peace and blessings to the full elect. Well, I'm part of that number. I'm the brother Kodar from the GMS branch of Chicago. We'll come back another video. All right, Shabbat Shalom. All right, uh, it's Thursday. It's, you know, sundown. All right, the Shabbat kicked in. <clears throat> but this video is going to be entitled, entitled uh, Don't Fear, Keep Fighting. All right, because I was reading First John, the fourth chapter yesterday. I mean, this morning. And uh, let me just get the precept. For in uh in eighteen it says there's no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Okay, because fear have torment. He that fear if is not made perfect in love, man. Okay. Hey, so hey, if you love the Most High, you gonna you gonna follow His ways, man. All right. Hey, and you can't you know you, you the scripture says that as you know let go of the mortal thoughts, man. Okay. So you you're not supposed to have the, uh, the the cares of this world, the lust of this world, you know, and etc. Man, all right. I mean, the Most High is not in you, man. All right. And ultimately, it's lucky for the noise in the background. Uh, and ultimately, if you fear, man, you know, if you fear, because it is really uh, uh, mainly, you know, what people gonna think about you, what your job, are they gonna fire you, this and that, you know. But if you got that, if you got that perfect love, you understand that hey, it, it'll have to be like this, man. And the Most High. You know, as the scriptures say, strive unto the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Hey, the Lord gonna fight for you, man. Hey, the Lord gonna get you another job, man. All right, and etc. Okay? Um, he that fear is not made perfect in love. Okay? So we're not supposed to fear, man. The Lord ain't give us the spirit of fear. That's a demon. All right? Let me take a sip of this water real quick. All right, but on to my next precept. It says, 2 Ezra 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature, man. All right, and the Lord is trimming off the, the fat. The Lord is trimming off the weakness, man. And I just hope I'm not a, a part of that, man. Because I, I just want to make it. It says, let go of the mortal thoughts. Okay, what your family gonna think about you? What they gonna say about you? What they say behind your back? What they what they think about you? Uh, what what your child gonna think about you, man? It doesn't matter. All right, <clears throat> what your wife, what your kids gonna think about you, man? What this world in general gonna think about you, man? All right, it's good to say if they if they love me, I mean if they hated me, they will also hate you. The servant not greater than the master, man. All right, and this place is falling, man. Okay, you can't be invested in some, in, some, in something that's falling, man. Okay, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times, man. Okay, hey, don't be, don't be stressing out over this shit, man. I mean, not this shit, you know, this, well, this shit, because, hey, don't be stressing out over this world, man. Okay? Uh, and haste thee not to, I mean, and haste thee to flee from these times, for yet greater even than those which thou hast seen, happen shall be done hereafter, man. Okay? Hey, hey, so, hey, hey, evil times is coming, man, okay, and the only way to, you know, be on the Lord's side and, and to uh, hopefully receive salvation, hey, is doing the Lord's will, man, you know, hey, you can't just drop the plow hey, and think the Lord is going to um, defend you, man, you know, the scripture say you draw away from him, he's going to draw away from him, man, you know, hey, so we not supposed to fear, man, hey, fuck this devil and fuck this society, fuck Bill Gates, uh, fuck Anthony Fauci and his damn vaccine, man. All right? It's a lot for cursing. But, uh, 2 Timothy's, 2 Timothy's 1 and 7. They probably won't take this video down. For 2 Timothy's 1 and 7, for the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, okay, and of a sound mind, man. A sound mind. Let's get that sound mind. Because that, hey, uh, 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 fear is a demon, man. Okay. 
Nothing. You should. You shouldn't fear nothing but the Lord, man. Okay. One seven. Let's get that sound mind. It says, and am admonishing or calling to soundness of the of mind, to moderation and self control. Self control, moderation, man. Okay. And wisdom shall be the stability of the town, cause we know we we calm, cause we already know. Hey, this is prophecy, man. All right, we already know this is coming, so we won't be blindsided, man. We understand what's gonna happen. We understand. All right, if we endure for Lord, hey, He gonna save us, man. You know, through the through the trials that's about to come. Okay. Hey, and shit, the trials right now. You know, the everyday uh, battle we fight, man. Okay. Hey, every day the Lord shows us why. Uh, uh, why he is our power, man. You know. This is Galatians five and sixteen. This it this I say then walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to another, to the other. So that you cannot do the things that you will, okay? Because if you under the flesh, hey, the flesh just wants to be comfortable and, and for you to pleasure yourself. Pleasure yourself, man. Your flesh don't want to be outside this comfort zone, man. All right? And guess what? And it's true. You'll never be in your comfort zone, man. All right? That's what, that's what toughens you up. That's what, that's what makes you a soldier, man, to not be in your comfort zone. All right? Hey, because it's, it's conditioning us from the times that's coming, man. Jacob's trouble, hey... Hey, the scripture says we're going to be like pilgrims on the earth, man. We're going to be moving from house to house, you know, different places, man. You know? You think we're going to be comfortable? No. All right, we're going to have a sound mind because we understand the Lord is with us, though. All right? But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, Wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envying, murder, drunkenness, reveling, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, man. That's the that's that's what I want to point out. Faith. We gotta have big faith, man. That's what's gonna uh, uh gonna save us in the time, man. All right, faith and works. Okay, uh, meeting is temperance against such there is no law. Okay, and if, and they that are homogeneous have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust, man. All right, we gotta we gotta crucify the flesh, man. We gotta hey, we gotta put that shit off, man. All right, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit, man. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. All right, that was the point, man. All right. Hey, just have big faith, man. This first Maccabees one. First Maccabees nine. It says this is one of my favorite precepts right here. And uh it says I'm gonna start at verse six. No, verse seven. One no matter of fact, verse six, fuck it. Verse six, who seeing the multitude of the other army till he so great were so afraid. Okay, because there was so many of them. Whereupon many conveyed themselves out of the host. And so much as a bow of them, no more but 800 men. When Judas therefore saw that his host slipped away, that the battle pressed upon him, he was sore troubled in mind and in much distress. For that he had time, he had no time to gather them together. Nevertheless, to them that remained, he said, Let us arise and go up against our enemies, and peradventure we may be able to fight with them. But they dehorted him, saying, we shall never be able. Let us now rather set our lives. And hereafter we will return to our brethren and fight against them, for we are but few. Then Judas said, The Most High forbid that I should do this thing and flee away from them. If our time be come, let us die manfully, man. You got to be willing to die manfully for this thing, man. All right, hey, Esau's about to come down with his wrath, man. All right, hey, he's he about to come, uh, uh, you know, as a great flood, you know, as the scripture says. Okay, some of us gonna have to be martyrs. Hey, some of us won't have to, won't taste that death, man. All right, but whatever your lot is, hey, 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 uh, be ready to die manfully, man. Okay, and let us not stain our honor. Let us not let's not stain our honor, man. Let's let's not uh, uh 
let's not mess up our legacy, man. Hey, if we are the leg, a hey, book's gonna be written about us, man. You know? Hey, light affliction, but for a moment, man. All right, hey, this place is finished. We have to endure, man. With the host of uh, back of this, we move out of, well, that was the point, okay? You know, and uh, this is where I believe, uh, yeah, you know, Judas was, uh, Judas was killed. All right, but he died manfully. He didn't stain his honor, man. All right, the scripture says to the strive for the truth unto death. Okay? And that's honorable. All right, because if you die in the truth, hey, you're going to be the first, hey, that's a uh, one-way ticket to the kingdom, man. All right, and you're going to be the first one coming down. You know, when Yahweh Shai come, man. You know, one of the first. All right? Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. Okay? And that's plain. All right? But um, that was the point of the video, man. Hey, there's no point of retreat. Hey, let's not stay in our honor. All right, let's be ready to die manfully, man. All right. And I pray y'all by Shema uh put that, keep that spirit on me. All right. But uh, I want to give all praise, all and glory to you. How about Shema Shah, Shalom, and the Baba Ball.